Hello, today I'm going to talk about this book that's called Going Solo and this is part two of um, the books uh, it's like a series and it's many books uh, uh, Roald, Roald Dahl has written but if you wonder, uh, I have talked about so many other books but if you wonder why I said part two because it I don't, I don't know where it is, but I'm not going to try to find it. But uh, there's a book. Uh, I talked about the book. Uh, the latest book I a book, book I talked about um, about uh, Roald Dahl. Um, uh, a book he wrote was in uh, this book. That a book was called The Boy, and then he was a little. What? What? Where's boy? Uh, oh, there. Uh, uh, should I take it out? It's okay. Here. Look. It starts with th this book. Um, he's a little boy, but now he is older. You see? He's older now. He has the same hair, do you see? He has the same uh, eyes. He has the same uh, nose. He has uh, the same hands. Oh, okay, 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 okay. okay. But uh, now I'm going to I'm going to read the text back here, and then I'm going to talk about this book. So that um, uh, so this book uh, this book is when Roald Dahl is. Uh, this book is when Roald Dahl is a little boy, but when he's now a big boy. And I'm just going to put this book... Okay. It's impossible. No? Okay. Now I'm going to talk. And now I'm going to read the text back here. And now I'm going to talk about this book. A life is made up of a great number of small incidents and a small number number of great ones and uh, of great ones if you didn't hear but now I'm going to talk about this book it starts with that doll I'm um, look um, he's called Roald Dahl but I'm going to uh, I'm only going to say doll so doll he's going on this boat uh, to uh, do his job at Shell so uh, wait, I'm just going to uh, put up the uh, the continents. So if I don't remember, I can just look look at the continents. So then he is going on a ship to go to uh, to work in Africa. I don't I don't know where, but like that. So then, how should I say? How should I say? So then after, uh, so then uh, when. And when he comes there, uh, he has a person that's loyal to him, but uh, and he and Doll needs to be loyal to his uh, to his wife and uh, his uh, children. Children. So then, one day, uh, it comes a black snake that is called the Black Mamba. Uh, so that I think it's called the Black Mamba. I don't know, but I don't remember. Uh, but uh, it's a snake that's very deadly. And this snake was one day out and it was going to uh, bite um, bite one of uh, this boy's children that uh, uh, was loyal to Doll. So then Doll uh, is screaming. Uh, this uh, child uh, to this child and then this child takes like a, a iron thing and just <laughs> just kills it uh, just easy when I uh, and kills uh, the uh, kills the black bamba easy win. so then um, so then uh, that was very uh, that was very good uh, this uh, ch uh, child didn't die Good job. But then, uh, one day, it becomes like this. It's just a normal day, and then 
that day, a, a, a Simba, a, a, it's not on that language, a lion is coming to attack, is coming to, a, has a, a, attacked the ch kitchen and got the cook that cooks the food's wife uh, in uh, in the mouth so then uh, they shoot uh, so then uh, somebody comes out and takes uh, like a uh, uh, like a weapon and then sh uh, shoots the uh, shoots uh, the lion so then the lion just Drops the body and then he runs, runs. He doesn't run away, but it becomes violent. So then he runs away after that. So then um, this uh, man said, "Nobody, nobody go out." And then one day a um, doll met a green mamba uh, that was a, a snake. There in the, like the a same. Same sort. They're uh, they're in the same family, the black mamba and the green mamba. So then, he somehow uh, doesn't die. So that's good. So then, this is the beginning of the war, war, uh, the World War Two, not one. Two, two, two. Okay, I'm stopping. I'm stopping. So then, um, he's not on the Germany side. He's on the USA side. <coughs> I'm going to drink some water because I'm thirsty. I don't know. But here on my lip, it hurts so much. Uh, it hurts so much. I don't know why. I, t uh, I don't know why. I may be going to go see like a doctor thingy because I want to know why this hurts so much. It's not like normal uh, before. I, I had a hole here, not so big. It doesn't, it doesn't hurt so, so much. But this, it hurts so much. I don't know why. So I'm going. Uh, so if I do, if I touch here, that's why it. Uh, that's because it hurts so much. So then, in the World War, um, a doll was a pilot, and he was uh, flying uh, the uh, flying. Uh, I don't know how, how to say uh, these uh, things so you can fly with. I don't remember what it's called somehow. So then it uh, he is uh, he is surviving this somehow. But then he uh, after uh, after maybe some months he uh, was flying he f uh, he crashed in the sand and uh, it was a fire uh, I can I tell you one story when I was little when I first could talk my dad and my mom talked a, 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 a language and my friend talked the other language but somehow and none of them was, is talking English so somehow I started talking English and when I saw a fire one time, I, I this was me. Fire! Fire! <sighs> That's not fun. So I, I I I don't know how and why I did it, but I did it. So. That's what uh, I. That's what uh, I did some uh, one time when I saw fire. So then this plane uh, is burning up, and then a doll is coming to hospital. Some some uh, people somehow find him, and then when he's hospital, he's in hospital for six months uh, because he uh, he couldn't see. This was uh, he was blind. It was just 
he was blind and he uh, and the doctor said you for, you cannot move and when he uh, could move it again and uh, when he was blind he uh, he would uh, he wouldn't go flying uh, right now uh, again so then he's in a, a family for one week i think and then he goes flying again and then he flies he flies is uh, in a uh, he flies um for the USA or the other uh, other but he was not on the Germany side he, he was on the USA side but he he didn't fly the USA planes uh, so uh, he was flying uh, a other uh, a other lands countries uh, uh, other countries uh, uh, planes so then he he gets like effects back uh, of the time he uh, uh, when he crashed he got so bad headaches headaches so he couldn't just fly he couldn't fly when he flies he got so bad headache headaches and when he got, got to the doctor, the doctor said, you can't fly anymore. You, can't, you just can't. So then he didn't fly anymore. But he was on some uh, very fun adventures. And uh, this adventure was, uh, he, was uh, he was delivering a packet that was a very uh, important thing in the world war. And then he uh, looked if they could live in a place uh, when there was going to flee from the Germanies. So that uh, he and then he is going home and then he meets his mom in three years. In three, one, two, three years. Why? So then uh, they was happy and he lived with his mom and I don't know what uh, happened uh, anymore in the book, book because that was all for this book that was called Going Solo. This book was fun, not, it's not so easy to read, like medium reading because it, uh, you couldn't con you couldn't just concentrate it uh, it was so many uh, pages it was like 200 so uh, uh, it was like medium uh, medium uh, when i uh, medium uh, medium thingy and then this book was also a little bit not very fun and uh, it was fun but it was a little bit less sensitive. Less Lesson? Ah. Sadly. Yeah, it was a little bit sadly, this book. Mm -hmm. And uh, it was interesting also, the book. And uh, my best character for this book was um, Roald Dahl. And my next, my next book is a Swedish book, I think. And bye-bye!